So I don't have a fancy intro or anything for you, but do you remember that one time way back when, when I did the Stone Cold Steve Austin beer chug? If you don't, here it is. You may be asking yourself, Funko Fat Guy, why are there so few things on the table? It's because I think I've said it in past videos, but I'm cutting, trying to cut back a little bit on my spending. So maybe there, well, <laughs> I shouldn't really say that because this is a very expensive mystery box. But uh, after this, <laughs> this, this is the most expensive thing I bought recently, somewhat recently. But I actually purchased this mystery box back, I don't know, a few months ago now. Um, and it just shipped now. It, it was like a pre-order type deal. And uh, you'll see why things had to come together for it to happen. And now we got it. I'll tell you more about it. You, you already know because you saw the description or the title or whatever. But it's the... I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. It's the 316 autograph mystery box. What does that mean? Who knows? I know, but maybe you don't. Uh, this first one I, I had to open because I had to, there was something else in it that I had to get. But uh, we've got a sorter from GameStop. Let me get this out of the way. We've got a sorter from GameStop, and it is oh that's cool. Another one from one of my favorite. What has become one of my favorite lines, the Dungeons and Dragons line. I still hate that sticker, but whatever. Uh, I do like the D20 sticker. That's cool. I'm glad they added that. The D20 included sticker. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I see it. I clearly see it. But <laughs> it's funny because it's actually covered by the GameStop sticker. So there it is. You can see it in there. But these are great. Uh, it is. I didn't even say what it is. It's the War Duke from Dungeons & Dragons. Every single one of these that they've come out with lately has been an absolute banger. Every single one has been phenomenal. And it looks like... Uh, it's in pretty decent shape. It looks like a little, maybe factory, like, bulge out here, but whatever. That's nothing. Yeah, but, I mean, it's in pretty good, pretty good shape. I do need some of these, though. I need some of these original guys that I don't have. I think I need those top two. I have the bottom guy here, but I need those top two. So if anyone has them, let me know. Uh, next up, we've got this little box from Entertainment Earth. I actually have so much from Entertainment Earth over there, and I have not opened any of it. Any of it. I was, I'm gonna at some point just open it all in one video, but I'm gonna wait until I have no content left. <laughs> and it's coming soon. <laughs> it's coming pretty soon because uh, I'm running out of stuff to open and things are uh, getting a little bit slower and they're gonna get even slower when the holidays come around too. Oh, well, normally, uh, normally I would open, I, I would show you what it is and I still will, but I'm not gonna open it. I'm going to wait till popping around the clock, Tuesdays at 7, but I mean, it's already past Tuesday, so maybe we did it, maybe we didn't. I know I'm not on the, la the net, like, one of the episodes, but coming soon, I, it would have been, if they do it, I don't even know if they do it, but it would have been one of the episodes. I don't know when I'm releasing this, so I can't even tell you which one. Well, this, this can go. I'm just rambling on. It's the Mr. Monopoly soda. I believe this is the last soda I have on pre-order, and then I'm done. Forever. Unless I do Golden Girl sodas, then I'll do it again. But for now, it's uh this is it. This is my last soda right here. Unless I win any, get them in mystery boxes, that's it. Other than that, I'm done with sodas. Mr. Monopoly, done. That's it. That's done. No more sodas for me. Fun fact, a lot of people don't know know this about me. Uh despite my figure uh i'm not a soda drinker uh just just by looking at me you'd think man that guy pounds like five sodas a day no i do not i do not like soda or i i i, I don't i do like it but i don't drink it um and i haven't for oh man probably like i don't know five to six years i don't remember but when i am drinking alcoholic beverages 
I partake in diet sodas, at least, uh, when I need a mixer of some sort. Uh, so that's a fun fact about me that some people don't know. Not a soda drinker. Also, don't drink caffeine. I know I've said that on a, a couple live streams before. I don't drink caffeine either. Uh, die I mean, die diecast, what? <laughs> I have something on my mind. Um, decaf coffee technically has a little bit of caffeine in it, so I do drink caffeine, but barely. I drink decaf coffee, that's it. And uh, all my tea that I drink is caffeine free. And uh, yeah, a little, little, little fun fact about me. A little get to know Funko Fat Guy today. So I was talking about diecast just now. Why would I do that? Why would I have that on my mind? Ow! I got hit with a box. Ah! Do you see that? You see me get attacked by that box? Nothing to do with me at all, being an idiot. Diecast! The new hot trend in the Funko world. Uh, I like it, but I don't love it. Um, but they keep doing things that I like, so... I got another one. <laughs> I got another one. The other one that just came out. Let's open the paper. I'm not gonna open the whole thing, but I will open the paper and show you the outer box at least. This one makes the most sense. This one makes the most sense to me. Uh, I might I might open it up at, at some point and post like a picture on Instagram or something. But we've got the diecast Iron Man. Hello, this was obvious. Everyone loves Cap, I get it. But people like Iron Man too. And he is literally made of metal. Why wasn't this the first die cast? Why did you do Captain America at all? Compared to this? Like, this is way, this makes way more sense. Batman, whatever, I know. You gotta get a DC one out, whatever. Don't care. Throw it out. Doesn't matter. It's Iron Man. You gotta, you gotta do Iron Man first. Come on. But this is number two. This is the, the second one. Uh, Captain America's number one. Batman's number three. I don't know how many times they're going to do this. I don't know how many of these wacky die casts they're going to make. Or what they're going to do next. I don't what What fandom are they going to do next? Who knows? Right now, we just got Marvel and DC. Maybe they'll stick to that for a little while. Maybe they'll do a Star Wars one, which would be a, a hot seller. But right now, we've got the die cast Captain... Uh, nope, not Captain America. Iron Man. The one that makes the most sense. And that's cool. That's very cool. I'll open it up and check it out later. But now I'm gonna get. I'm just eager. I'm 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 eager to get into what I'm really here for, which is this big guy right here. So this is the 316 mystery box. That is how much it cost as well. It is one. Technically, it's not a full mystery box, but it is in a way. It's got one Ric Flair autograph. It's got one Stone Cold Steve Austin autograph. It's got one mystery autograph, all on Pops, by the way. Uh, and then three signed 8 by 10s Those are the ones not on Pops, but six autographs total for 316. That's a lot of money, but uh, Stone Cold and Ric Flair are two WWE Legends autographs that I didn't have. And this was this is an easy way to get them. Um, even knowing what's in the box, I still don't because it what pop is signed of those two can be different so it's it's all a mystery i'm gonna try and do the eight by tens first i don't know how this is gonna be packaged um but i'm gonna try and do the uh the autograph eight by tens first just uh because those are not as exciting okay so the pops are covered here i believe looks like everything's covered Okay, they're all wrapped up, and the 8x10s are at the bottom. Okay, the 8x10s are at the bottom, so let me get into this. Let's, all right. Yeah, I can't really see. They're all covered in bubble wrap, so I can't really see. Let's put those there, and let's get into this. I wish it told me who these people were. <laughs> We've got this guy! <laughs> Any idea? Anybody? I have no idea. I can't tell. I don't know who that is. But we've got that guy. This guy. Oh, I think, uh, I think I know this one. I believe that's SoCal Val. So that's pretty cool. That, that's a person I know. There's actually four 8x10s, which is cool. I don't know if that was an accident. Oh, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. We've got, uh, 
Rick Steiner and Scott Steiner. We've got the Steiner brothers. That's very cool. I like that one a lot. That's very cool. Oh, here we go. I should have dressed up. One of the inspirations for the shades. One of my personal favorite wrestlers. We've got Orange Cassidy. Yes. I do already have Orange Cassidy's autograph, but I will never be upset with another. That's awesome. Uh, this is my favorite one. I mean, the Steiner brothers are super cool, though. This is, this is number two. I still don't remember who the first guy is. But we got Orange Cassidy. That's awesome. I love Orange Cassidy. Uh, if, you don't, if you're a wrestling fan and don't know who this is, look him up. Uh, even if you're not a wrestling fan and don't know who this is, obviously, look him up. Look up Orange Cassidy match highlights and you will, you will love it. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. He's a very ridiculous wrestler. Um, but I'm very happy with that. Uh, I, I knew three out of the four, which is pretty good. I still don't know who this guy is. Um, no clue. No clue on that guy. But I knew the other ones. Uh, and the dual autograph is very cool. Scott and Rick Steiner. That's that's very... Look at... Look at, look at young Scott Steiner. Look at that guy. He's changed. <laughs> He's very different now. But that's very cool. And then OC, my boy. And then SoCal Val. That's cool. That's cool, too. Never, never seen any of her matches or anything, um, but I've definitely seen these guys. All right, let's get into let's get into the big boys. Let's get into the main event. I don't know which one to start with. Like I, I can't see what is here. I know one's a mystery, one's Stone Cold, one's Ric Flair. Don't know which is which. So we're just gonna start with this one, I guess. And we'll uh, we'll all find out. Uh, they are in protectors, uh, so that's good. Protect the autograph. First up, we've got, it's looking at me, we've got Drew McIntyre. That is awesome. This is actually, it, it, I was telling a couple of guys in the chat, this is one of the mystery ones I really wanted. I wanted Drew McIntyre or Mick Foley or Jake the Snake, and I got my number one, Drew McIntyre, very cool, former world champion. I, man, that's an awesome one. And that's not one, you, I don't see a lot of Drew McIntyre autographs around. So that's a very cool one. Um, I'm very happy to have that. That is That was probably not my number one that I wanted out of this. So we got number one on the mystery. The the random, complete random one. So that's very cool. I'm happy with that. Um, we'll save the middle one for, or maybe, maybe the last one's the, I'm trying to save the, uh, the Stone Cold for last, but I don't know which is which. So let's just do the middle one and maybe the last one is Stone Cold. Who knows? Not me. So these can have different variants. Uh, there's like the original Stone Cold. There's uh, one of the original Flares. There's a bunch of stuff. Well, there's your Stone Cold. I, I guess the last one is going to be Flair then. Uh, it is not any of the variants, which is okay. Um, because, I mean, whatever. It's still a Stone Cold Steve Austin autograph at the end of the day. So I'm happy with it. Um, and it's actually from, funny enough, it's from Dark Parlor Originals. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. Um, but it's got the dark parlor and everything, and it says it's Beckett certified, but I don't see a certificate, which, whatever, I can look it up, but, uh, this is what it is. We've got Stone Cold Steve Austin from Dark Parlor Originals. Um, this came from Heroes Hideout, so I assume they just bought a bunch from them and then resold them, which, whatever, who cares. Very cool. That's awesome. I'm very happy to have that. Um, the choice in color is interesting. I don't know why they went with blue. Maybe because of the blue jeans, which kind of works, actually. Um, but I'm very happy to have that, finally. I've been wanting a Stone Cold for quite some time, and uh, happy to have it. So, Matt, last up, we've got Ric Flair. Let me, let me make sure the shirt isn't in here or anything. It's not, so I'll figure that out later. It's not a big deal. It's maybe, I don't know. Who knows? But it ain't here. Um, again, not a big deal. It's something I can look up. And, uh, cause it's got the hologram and Dark Pearl Originals. I trust them anyway. And I trust Heroes Hideout. Um, they, they do, they do a lot. So, they do a lot of signings and all that fun. So this can be a variant as well. I can't see which one it is. Uh, but it could be the pink robe flare. It could be the red robe flare, I believe. And then it can be the WWE 2K19 flare, I think. We've got the, it looks like the pink robe flare. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. We've got the pink robe, Ric Flair, the Target exclusive, signed in pink. I think this is my first one ever, signed in pink. 
This is very cool. Funny enough, I just bought <laughs> I have an extra one of this pop specifically, not the uh, not the sign one, obviously, but I have the regular one that I just got an extra one of. But this is amazing. I'm so happy. Pink, one of my favorite colors. If you couldn't tell by my logo, loves me some pink. That's that. I just I don't know why. I just like it. It's a bright. It's fun. It's it's a bright fun color. Uh, if people don't like it, whatever. And if you think it's not manly, who cares? I like it. It's a nice color. I like nice colors. And clearly, as much as I love pink, I love black too. Also, it's slimming, you know? Not pink. Pink is it's but black. You know, gotta, gotta look like Funko Less Fat Guy, you know? But that's awesome. Ric Flair, pink robe, signed in pink, 16-time champion. This is amazing. We got three very cool autographs. And, I mean, the 8x10s are very cool too. But look at that. Look at that. That's that's amazing. What a lineup. Drew McIntyre, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and one of the variants. Oh, this is one of their own protectors too. Cool. One of the variants, which was not guaranteed. I mean, you could have just gotten base autographs for all of them. Uh, and you could have, I mean, none of them were really crappy for the mystery autograph, but who knows? Uh, they're, they're, I could have gotten a repeat because I already do have Diesel. I have Scott Hall. They were in there. I could have gotten those. I didn't. I got Drew McIntyre, which is a very cool autograph to get. Uh, and then, boom, one of the variants. I don't know the ratios on it, but the, I know there weren't that many variants. So that's very lucky. Super cool. Very excited about this. And um, that's pretty much all I got. So go follow me on Instagram, Funko Fat Guy. Um, subscribe here if you're not already. If you're wondering why Fabio is behind me and you're new, just watch the other videos. You'll get it. I don't even get it for the most part. I just kind of have this because I'm an idiot. And uh, Fabio's the best, right? Right, Fabio? Fabio. Not much of a talker, that one. Anyways, Betty White is immortal. Goodbye.